Grown man bars the son you gotta deal with. Even though my Tamagotchi is bigger than Miles' TV, I ain't gonna stop telling the real shit. Miles' TV, I hate it. He's ignored me in the group, but I'll still talk about it. It come in a paracetamol box. He's, ne he's, he's still never replied to one of your jokes about his TV. It's not a joke, though, it's the truth. <laughs> it's the truth. And the thing is, someone from the crowd actually sent me that, that TV and said, Specs, look at this. That's a great assist. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great assist. <laughs> living room TV. And like, do you, you know, T, like in the living room, you have like five, six people come in, sit down and watch something. That's how it goes. I remember when, you know, Steve invited me to come to his house and watch the England game on that big TV in his new house. Miles. You have no excuses, man. You have no excuses. You and your mums, you can go half and get a little 64 you know, HD. I've got, I've got a theory that Miles is a millionaire. Yo, you have to be a millionaire. I've never seen him spend a penny. I've never seen Miles hand over money for something. Do you know what? Taser was saying this to me yesterday, you know? Because Taser and I got a table where I, I hosted on Friday. And yeah, Miles didn't show up. You know what I done, though? <laughs> Uh, I basically, I wrote in my notes here, I wrote, I said, uh, um, Miles is outside, he's trying to get in. <laughs> I sold it to a drunk Taser, and Taser went, he'd done a 10K run around the race. <laughs> I'm not getting him in. <laughs> and Miles wasn't even there. Those guys are easy to wind up, man, why they're do, soft. Why do people believe, when you put messages on your notes app and it'll say like, Miles, and it'll say, yo, Specs, I'm outside. Why, when you show it to people, do people believe that's what's that? Listen, people are stupid, man. 95% <laughs> of people in this country are stupid. Whether you go Shoreditch on Thursdays, you're stupid. Whether you watch Love Island, you're stupid. Yeah, people are stupid, man. I went to Shoreditch the other day, Saturday night. Was that, was that when you called me when you was telling me? Yeah. No, was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah what's Saturday night? Yeah, what's Saturday? Shoreditch is a zoo Listen, right now. Yeah, no, the Shoreditch is... I like it and I don't like it. Mm. I like it because... It's like, what, you know, when I was that age, I didn't have a place like that. Oh, Chuck and Daryl. <laughs> and that's when my phone used to get robbed by them South guys. Yeah? I hope they're enjoying that. The triads. Yeah, the triads and that. But you go to Shoreditch now, and it's, it's like carnival every weekend, especially when it's hot. Yeah. But when I go there, T, for some reason, the East Africans come, and, you know, they're spitting in my ear. There's even parts of the stick hitting my ear every time talking. Specs, I love filthy, but oh, and I start worrying, I've got the, the CEO of VID18. So that's what I'm trying to, next time I go there, I've, I've got to have that mask on. It's dangerous, man. Who the where, crowd's where, there? Where, which part of Shoreditch do you go to? Now listen, people, you know me, crowd, you know me. When I walk to Shoreditch, I go to the bait part of Shoreditch. I like seeing people. Yeah. Tico, you know me, I like people. The thing is, when I go out with Tico and Judy, those guys want to do the, the back streets. Oh, come on, let's go back roads. I'm just saying the eighties. Forget the back roads. Let's go on the high street and see the four heads, five heads, the <laughs> bo, the big nose. You love it. No, I like seeing people. I like seeing people's looks because yeah. that's when I start. You know, I, I start story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I start story. However, I got a friend called Issues. <sighs> yeah. Shout out Issues, man. Listen, the, the <sighs> long time uh, No Rules show viewers slash listeners, they'll know Issues. But he's been in London the last couple of months. Oh, Issues has been with me and he's seen the crowd have come up to him. So we, we know you, you know, you lost the fight to Frost. No way. Yeah. But Issues just slays everyone. He tells them, look, guys, you, have you got Instagram? Well, you're, you're all losers. Because he doesn't have social media and he's against it. Um, and he doesn't want his business on here and he doesn't want to be on it. We've asked him, Tigo, you've asked him. He doesn't want to come on. I think his class, he doesn't want to be on the internet. Why? I think because we get too caught up in it. Because it's our jobs. If it wasn't our jobs, like I remember, I remember you used to not be on Twitter. I remember you used to have like four hundred followers, and you had used to have actually that three different Twitter accounts, all of the different names: DJ Spex Gonzalez, Spex Gonzalez, DJ underscore Spex Gonzalez. I was there, but I was still there. I was still trying to work something out. Not really. You would, you were, you'd abandon that. No, I mean, see, I had MySpace. Yeah, I had my music on MySpace. Must have MySpace. <laughs> he he didn't have MySpace. What's that? You know, there's plus four, 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 four. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's got so many numbers. The other day he was calling me and it said um, Mauritius. I was going to ask you, I saw the screenshot and I wanted to send it to you. Mauritius? Don't tell me I've got a kid over there. <clears throat> so I'm worrying, thinking, oh man, someone wants my money. I answered that. Ferdy, you want to go calf? What? Issues. Oh yeah, this is my other line. Oh. 
So you're still calling your other businesses, pretending you're in different places. Yeah, that's smart. Smart? That's a sign of a con. <laughs> that's a con right there, Felix. <laughs> you can't be conning people. Sometimes you gotta do what it takes to get the deal over the line. It's true. It's true. Shout out issues though. Issues have been taking me to some nice places. Issues is a like Mayfair rooftop jazz music guy. Jazz. Live band. Mm. You know what I mean? Like T, I'll be we'll, we'll be, you know, drinking. Well, you know I me, mean? I don't I have my soft drink, but he'll be drinking his uh his you know, he was drinking something the other day that had fire on it. Oh. Yeah, a fire drink. I don't know what it's called. But a fire drink. Yeah, it was like a shot. Yeah, I don't know the one you're talking about. Yeah. What's it called? Why I is there a fire on it? No, nah, I've had it before. I don't it's know. meant to be burning hot. No, nah, it's not burning hot. It it burns the sugars or something. It makes a different Yeah, taste. that's too, that's too yeah. much information for alcohol. Yeah. Haram. Very haram, yeah. A live band just started coming and playing right next to us. Playing what? <laughs> Tea, jazz. Because <laughs> it slowed me down. I thought I was watching Late Bear, the beginning part. <laughs> <laughs> Steve. Issues, I call him Steve, crossed his legs. I said, yeah, yeah. something went up in the middle. <laughs> Chance, you don't cross your legs once you start playing that music. This is a horny guy, just starts getting horny. <laughs> 7 p.m. Issues up there. Yeah. It's just a bit of jazz. Just a bit of jazz, but I've been, I've been rolling with Issues hard. Yeah, no, And I can't true. wait for him to go back to Africa beginning of August. Why? <sighs> T, it's, it's, it's boiling hot. Yeah, it's boiling hot. So you know already, like, I sleep naked, but you know, uh, the bum line sweats. I'm not alone here. I know. Felix I don't understand what that's got to do with Steve. Well, the thing about Steve is because Steve, you know, we live in the same block. And, uh, you know, his parents and my parents are good buddies. <laughs> Issues could walk in the house 9 a.m. when I'm in, you know, cuckoo land. <laughs> so he'll walk in the door and see my bum line right there, but go and log into my computer and send an email <laughs> while I'm on the floor with the bum line sweating. That's Issues. Issues like a real brother. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he wouldn't even notice that <laughs> <laughs> the bomb line sitting with sweat on it. He wouldn't even notice. He would just go and send his email from Mauritius. From Mauritius. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the thing about issues. Issues comes in at any time without saying anything to me. That's class. Nah, T, you, you, come on, man. Your, your friendship will call you and say, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm coming through. Yeah, no, Gives you're you right. time to yeah. put underwear on. Has he been getting into any fights? No. He was fuming that he wasn't at box part that time when we we nearly got into a little something. He was fuming about that. But oh, he really? Yeah, he hasn't got into it. What would he have done? Diplomacy? Issues would have done the, well, you know, according to him, he's, he, he's done a lot of headlocks in Africa that where people haven't got out and actually hit the stairs. He think, <laughs> <laughs> allegedly, he thinks that he's put someone on the stairs for a headlock. Yeah, all right, Steve, let's slow down here now. But um, yeah, he wish he was there. <laughs> headlock, a million dollar man. <laughs> But yeah, man, I was gonna bring him here quickly, but uh, it is what it is, man. But yeah, no, it's been a tiring summer. You've probably had a lot of days off. Yeah, I've had a lot of days off, but you know, my days off are, they're still busy in terms of imagination. <laughs> my bed's still on the floor. I'm meeting people. Remember when Wiley and God's Gift had a fight outside and stuff? Wiley, you're dead, yeah, by the way. Wiley and God's Gift had a fight? Wiley and God's Gift had a fight. I went to, I, I went to, I took, I went to a rave with mummy the other day. Uh, it was called Igloo, and my name was on the flyer. I messaged you in a group. I said, T, right, yeah, why is my name on Wiley's flyer? Mm. Well, cool, let me just go there. I got there, I saw, you know, I said hello to Wiley. Wiley was sweating galore. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 I've got a problem with people that sweat here. <laughs> okay, that's, why, Greg, that's Greg, by the way. Greg, what, 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 is, what, what is the secret of sweating here? I mean, I'm a, I, I'm a top shoulder shaker, former top sh shoulder shaker, so I don't use to sweat. That's lubrication, I guess. Yeah, like, but this is like, you know, I'm, like, what's all this <laughs> like? So he's giving me the, the, the sweat slap. <laughs> I've walked in and next, you know, him and God's gift are on the stairs fighting. It was a draw. But <laughs> the worst part of the fight is when you see men crying, that's when you know, oh, Bob. You lot are about a stinker here. Yes. Because God, God's gift did them once. He did the stairs. I loved you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Minus has done that though. Minus had a fight. We were so tired, but I told him, after this day, 
I will never speak to you again. I can see you saying that, yeah. But when I said again, again broke. <laughs> again? Yeah, it started shaking. <laughs> And both of us started crying. <laughs> we just started looking at each other. And I was like, issues, you know what? Your tears go that way. <laughs> <laughs> they don't really come down because his cheeks are out here. So the tears are like, nah, I ain't going there. And let me go upwards. <laughs> tears going that way. <laughs> oh, man. Critical on tears. One day we'll see that, man. <laughs> hope so. Hope not. Hope Critical lives a tear free life. Yeah, I've been stretching as well. Really? I've been trying to stretch every day, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been trying to. Yoga, I saw you watching yoga on your Instagram, yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've been watching yoga, trying to trying to do, because when I was PE teaching to you guys, I used to stretch all the time and I used to feel good. Mm. The other day I've been playing football tea, my muscles are locked and then I, uh, you know, I met a new mommy. At football? Nah, I just met her in public. In public? Yeah. You were there, T, you were there. That was, yeah. we, uh, you don't catch me in public. But she, um. She gave me like a little massage. She started touching the knots. Right. Like, she pressed. Then she went down to the, to the back off. Like, pressing. I said, oh, that, the feeling's a bit. She said, yeah, you're tight there. You don't stretch, just, there's a knot. And that's when I realized, you know what, I need to loosen up because if not, the Sorry, back off so will just, she went, you know, yeah. into the back off. Remember, Felix, I, I gave you a little snippet of that. <laughs> Felt good, didn't it? So, oh, yeah, geez. man. My alarm goes off on camera so often. Why'd your alarm go off? What's that for? Uh, it means I've got to make something live or I've got to send something. You ain't got a Tamagotchi, have you? You've got a feeder or anything like that? No, we've got a feeder Tamagotchi, no. Please, let's go back to that back off where the d -d 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 into the back off. Just clear that up for the viewers. So that means basically, so people, you know in your back off here, you've got the line, then you've got the sides, right? So that's the sides and that's the line. So that's one cheek. <laughs> No, let's discuss this, man. No, it's yeah, normal, it's yeah, normal, yeah. yeah? So basically, you put your hand like in the middle of that one cheek. It's just above like your hamstring. You push, 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 push. So it's gonna go past the hamstring. Boom, it goes like to the back part of the hamstring, the inner. And there's a little knot there. They press it, boom. <laughs> your legs go weak, the feeling is sensational. Is that a balloon knot or? What do you mean balloon knot? What's balloon knot? Oh, there's definitely a balloon knot in the cheeks. Definitely. Well, I mean, all our cheeks are different. My cheeks are not as big as your cheeks. Yeah. My yeah, cheeks. Yeah, we've both got the same anatomy wise, we've got the same. Um, your cheeks she was pressing. Down. Mine is just stuffed in. So yours, so she's pressing your balloon knot. Yeah, not that, remember. And you loved it. Yeah, no, again, remember, I, I showed you where the side of the line is. I didn't say that she went to the line and went in the middle. No, you said you found the knot. Because she's gonna be a tunnel. You said she found the <laughs> knot. With a, with a few brown stuff on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's her business. She can't eat fufu again. I'm talking about the one cheek here and just the skin goes in. Trust me. It's a great feeling. There's a knot there, people. There's a knot. If you need help, I'm not in there. Let me know. Crowd, let me know mm. if you heard what I heard. Because I heard she pressed the knot. Yeah, she pressed the knot. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Fine. TJ, let me show you then. No, no, I'm right. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> because you understand what I mean. No, I think I understand what you mean. You sure? Yeah, yeah. So T, I'm there. It's, she, she's, she was a, she's a former sports massagist. Is that what they call themselves? Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, masseuse. So masseuse. I've typed that in before as well. <laughs> I've typed that in before. I've typed in masseuse before. Uh, the ending's always happy, man. T, go. Remember, we was gonna investigate something today. We were gonna investigate something yes, today. Yes, T, go. We, 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 you know, come on. Dan said he was fifty and zero on filthy. Goldberg said he was how how oh, many you know? Oh shit, yeah. Oh my days. So it's about time that we investigate why someone like Floyd Mayweather is fifty and oh. Because when you look at the first ten people they fought, they're the same names you had in register when you was in year eleven. But that's that's how the first hundred people that you come up against in anything are gonna be shit compared to that when you get there. Yeah, but it shouldn't count. Why? Because they're shit. It shouldn't count. Do you know what I mean? No. So, all right, so you're telling me that if I now, let's, let's, let's talk about Goldberg, not Gilbert, yeah, but let's see so. Let's talk yeah. about Goldberg, because he's still yeah. with us, yeah? Goldberg has 80 fights, but the first 50 are trash guys. 
Yeah. Now that makes that eight year old sound like it's a proper eight year old. Floyd, you think Floyd Mayweather only fought six boxers to get to that record? It sounds like it though, isn't it? When you say fifty and all. Yeah, but that's but it's not because you can't because 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 like, it's like you if you wanted to be a boxer right now you couldn't fight Floyd Mayweather you'd have to fight Loons. And then, and then when you're 50 and 0 and you beat Floyd Mayweather, people can look back and go, yeah, you only beat Loons. I had to beat Loons. That's how you climb the ladder. That's the thing about undefeated streaks. All right, so is it, fa- uh, is it, is it fair for me to say that if you're going to beat the first 10, at least we've got to know at least one person <sighs> in that first 10? Not 10, 20 maybe. All right, go on, let, me, let me see Goldberg's first 20. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, this is your guy. People try to tell me Goldberg's better than Stone Cold Steve Austin them times. Oh, let's this be is clear. your guy. Let's be clear. I never heard someone say Stone Cold 67 and 5. Now, let's be clear. He's Miles' guy. Miles is the big Goldberg guy. Let's, let's just Goldberg, just... He made us watch Goldberg in the office the other day, right? Yeah. With that, stu- that stupid theme song. Dum, 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 nah, dum, dum, dum. That good. song's trash. It's good. Okay, in his first 20 fights, the most famous people he beat were probably Steve McMichael. What? <laughs> he, he was a Chicago, he, that's a Scottish guy. He was a Chicago Bear. He won, what? He won the Super Bowl. So he wasn't even a wrestler? He was a wrestler as well. And he beat um, Hugh Morris. <laughs> he used to laugh when he wrestled. And Hugh Morris, playboy? Hugh Hefner. Oh. Um, Is he alive, that guy? Hugh Morris, yeah. Oh, no, Hugh Hefner. Yeah. No, no, he passed recently, actually. I know someone who's trying to be the new I hate Hugh that Hefner. Playboy sign. Huh? So I need to know someone who's trying to be the new Hugh Hefner. Did I tell you I bought my auntie a Playboy top by accident because of that sign? <laughs> I just saw a little rabbit's head in the corner. I said, oh, that's nice. Didn't know she was wearing a Playboy top. <laughs> Flipping hell, man. <laughs> they told her at work. She was working the boots at the time. Fuck boots. <laughs> Why fuck boots? Yeah, because they told her. Oh, that's, right. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> they told her. You should have told her. Yeah, look, Goldberg's record is not great in his first 20 matches. I think we decided it took for him took about 100 fights for him to actually fight someone good. What's, what's his record? It was 80, 60, 61 he's and a, He's 0. a con. <laughs> Goldberg's sorry. a con. That, he's, he's con. That's a con to you. Why? You showed me the fight he had against... Yeah, but if you look at the ones before, it's like he thought he'd beat the Big Show loads of times, Kevin Nash, Bam Bam Bigelow... Scott Hall, DDP, Sting. You ain't said more than 10 there. Give him 10 on OT. Forget all those other guys about. He beat the Mike, giant like 20 Mike, times. Mr. Mike Perfect. Michael. Hulk Hogan, he beat. He beat Mr. Perfect? Yeah. Can't be called Mr. Perfect in these matches. <laughs> <laughs> bit of a contradiction there. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, but um, I'll tell you what, let's get into. What happened? <laughs> yeah. Let's get into Serious Sunday. Before we get into Serious Sunday, let me okay. just say. It, it doesn't matter what I was going to say, <laughs> he's going to cut me off. Go on. T, these new mics. Yeah. Now, I was, I was, I'm looking at your nose while he's talking. I'm thinking yeah. to myself, these mics here, yeah. it, for me, I have to take one home now. You can't. T, that is class. It's class, yeah. Crowd, if you can tell me where we got this from, <laughs> I think they you can. win nothing. Huh? Yeah, I think they can, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I really like this mic, you know. See, you're wearing the worst t-shirt I've ever thank seen you. in my life. Just thank you, yeah. faded green yours and you've lost is, many times. Yours is no, amazing. This is, hand, this is homemade. There's nothing faded yep. about that. I bought this like no, a t- week you, ago. So why wash it? Why did you wash it so many times? <laughs> I've been washing it so <laughs> many times. See, see? Is, you know what I've noticed about all my friends? Everyone's changing. I see you go gym now, you're arguing skits about gym. You got lippy now wearing sunglasses and a vest. The sunglasses <laughs> thing's gonna come to an end. I'm done with that. No, it's pissing me off. Yeah, yeah. Cause like, he can't see. Yeah. He can't see. So if you got sunglasses you can't see through. Oh, oh, Stevie Wonder, we know why he wears sunglasses. Well, Other than, huh? Stevie Wonder, sorry. Yeah, what did you about to say? I issues? said lippy, we understand. Oh, no. but lippy actually looks like he's got a Stevie Wonder you know, issue. You know? Because your sunglasses can't be there and then the hairline. It's having another issue too. So for me, them sunglasses have to go. That's enough. Are you changing? What, my glasses? No, what in do you mean? general. What do you mean You're changing? You're everyone's changing. Of course, I, I would never change. I'm the same from day one. Mm. Just more mummies, that's all. No, I feel like you're changing. See, come on, I'm changing where? The hairline's still there. The glasses are still there. What's changing? Mm. I would never go gym. 
In fact, you know what? What you Lippy's Lippy's vest? <laughs> you, what you think Lippy was the first to wear a vest? <laughs> you must be joking, man. Do you know what I done? I went to M and S the other day. I bought five of these XS. What the vests? XS. <laughs> do, do you know what I mean? You, that's your size, isn't it? Yeah. I like it because you see here, here, and here it touches, so you feel like you're bigger. Yeah. When I before I used to get L, and everyone used to laugh because everything was just sliding down. Yeah, but you you you've always been a baggy guy. Who? Yeah, <laughs> baggy guy. Oh my days. You, Tigo, you're the man. Look what picture I got today. <laughs> Friday morning I wake up, and this is the picture I get. This is Specs drinking a WKD. Best drink ever. Raspberry blue. Looks like an ice pole. That's why I used to always buy that drink. <laughs> Remember the advert? Amazing. He's wearing a, a Ralph Lauren. I hope that's Ralph Lauren. That is real. I got that from Wembley Market. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> real, that's real. It's a Ralph Lauren rugby uh, with a New Era cap, New York Yankees. And I don't know, is, whose jeans are those? Those jeans, I reckon they're Carl Carney. You really look like mm. Carl Carney, yeah. But he's in a kitchen um, with look, a friend. Yeah, but I, I, didn't eat none of, I, I didn't eat none of the food, by the way. Why? Well, if you smell a beer, I can't taste your chicken. It's somebody's <laughs> birthday, by the way. I can yeah. see there's a little birthday thing behind her. What a picture, man. What a picture. What year is that? No, what? No, how old are you? Don't tell me what year it is. Yeah, this was like two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. And then there's more. Look at Dazza. Dazza? Spent a decent amount of time with Dazza this summer. What do you, what do you think of Dazza? I don't know, man. I'm not, I don't think I've made my mind up. Yeah. Dazza's fell off. But he fell off. I think Dazza's fell off. But, see, the thing is, <laughs> Dazza and Issues have got stories on me. They've got files on me. Yeah. So I don't want to, I don't want to kill, I want to hold on to mine before he comes on. Because if I told him now, yeah. when he comes on, I'll be just sitting yeah, in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? But. Yeah, Dazza's planning to come on. I mean, Dazza's got his, he's writing in his notes of all those things that we've been through. I would, I'm looking forward to having Dazza on the show. Then maybe we can fully figure him out. Yeah, but he can't tell you everything. <laughs> because then you're going to take it somewhere else and then it becomes <laughs> a yearly foul. What, did he massage your knot? No, no, Dazza can never. He doesn't even cut his nails. There'll <laughs> <laughs> be, <laughs> be blood everywhere. There'll <laughs> be blood everywhere, man. Um... But yeah, I just wanted to let the crowd know what what we're doing. Yeah, I mean, the crowd, there, boy, they've been in my DMs. Oh, 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 sorry, crowd. So I just remembered, speaking of DMs, crowd, I'm getting annoyed with these daily messages. Um, what's the message again? Have you seen, is it, have you seen this? Oh, uh, no, it's, this took me three hours to this make. This took me three hours to make. Yeah. Now, again, obviously, you know, I found that as a virus. I haven't opened it, but even if it wasn't a virus, I don't give a care what you guys are making regardless. And if you're a hacker, you need to change up. If you're trying to hack me, you're, send me a situation. Send me something about The Undertaker. Send me something about Chris Wood. That's the only way you can hack me. Or just ask for my login and password. But oh, this, this thing every, every day. It's either no rule show, specs what's going on, or this took me three hours to make. What is going on with No Rule Show? Do you know what, Tigo? You know what's crazy? Do you know what I think? Hmm. I think because I, I don't feel like me and you plan this kind of thing. So I feel like we just do what we want with it. Hmm. Yeah. That's what I think. Me and you don't plan. That's what it is. No, you, obviously you <laughs> plan with other yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with no rules, I just feel like no, I think, it's I all think we, needed, we needed to give it space. And we needed to make sure the timing was right when we decided to re-energize it and bring it back. And some of these guests yeah. that I've spoke to that I know, yeah. I don't want to see them again as well, T, man. Mm. I don't want to see Miles again. No. But the crowd want to see Miles. Yeah. It's the only reason we'd bring him back, because you lot want him. It's because of you lot. Yeah. Ah, oh, Miles, Miles. Okay, cool, we bring him on because of you lot. We haven't even had Scribs yet. T, that's a great idea. 
get all the old school guys back in here. Yeah. Bruiser. Yeah. Royal. Yeah. Crucial. Dazza. Yeah, Dazza. Yeah. yeah. Scribs. <laughs> Scribs. Yeah. Bolt. Yeah. Bolt, you can come on. Uh, do you know what? <laughs> We've got a fee for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ross. Yeah. Macola. Macola. Yeah. Leon. Leon would not come, will he? Uh, he'd be welcome. Yeah, man, we'll do old guests, man. We could. Because I feel like the new guests, I don't know, man, I feel like... There's a lot of new people. Look, we're, we're, this is when I say that we don't plan, plans plans are always made. There's a lot of new the, people we need the new, on the, the show. The, the new guests are bougie. <laughs> like who? No, Loons is bougie now. <laughs> Loons is bougie. Loons, because I didn't bring him to a sex party, he's upset with me. <laughs> Loons, you're not getting away with this. <laughs> you can't complain like this, man. Ah, oh, PK, oh, PK, I need PK, but PK is a new one I want. Yeah, we need Donny as well. Donny. I miss Donny. But everyone's busy as well, man. That's another thing as well, like people, man. Summer, summer. So it's hot outside. Yeah. This is the thing is we, we've had to fight through some shit to get to this weather. Now we're at this weather. It's tough to make people come inside. <laughs> Listen, thunderstorms is coming. Yeah, but then there's a heat wave coming. That's one thing I like about all this sun. It just means that I just bring out my toes, man, Birkenstocks. I got white and black pairs, man. I'm not afraid, boy. You lot do the socks and slides and be sweaty. That's your business, boy. Cheese, cheese, cheese. <laughs> socks and slides is class. Yeah, not on mummies that are like 25 and over. <laughs> you know what I mean? Spend it like beer. Yeah, keep it local, man. Don't, yeah. don't go all the way to Selfridges and you live in Acton with socks and slides. Yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna we're also gonna mix up guests. Like we do mm. Taser and Miles that time. That oh. episode could have been massive if it oh. was uh, stupid. When Tigo got pranked and he denied it. Do you know people come up to me now all the time, specs, you know you got him. They still talk about it now. Yeah, but the, but the, but the thing is that mm. they don't say that to me. They come up to me and they go, Has Specs paid you back for that light yet? But that's because it's, you're like six foot ten. Yeah. People think you know what I mean? That's the, this is the thing about Tigo now. People think Tigo's small and then when they see him, they're like, geez, he's near the sky. So yeah. now they don't know what to do. But yeah. when they get used to it, they'll come to you, though. Yeah. I'm right. getting that, though. Specs, man, I thought you were short. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not far from Tigo, then. You are short. No, I'm not short, though. You're short. 5'11", T. I'm You're actually not growing. 5'11". T, I'm 5'11". You're not 5'11". Do you want me to call it? Me and Issues, we, we weighed ourselves. I'm 5'11". <laughs> I don't believe that. T, I'm, and I'm uh, 67 kg. You and Loons aren't far from each other. No, Loons is short, man. Loons just looks... Tall because his head is in a square shape. That's what it is. The <laughs> loser's <laughs> got a square head. I swear, Dan. He's always said that from day. But I'm not, yeah. Come on. <laughs> you know, we'll, some of us have got a bank card head. That's what it is. But we'll get some guests on. You know, I think we're gonna get this series. Oh, go on. Say the guy that said downstairs. Go on. Go on. No. What? No. A football player. I think we're gonna get a football player. Is it? I think we are. Yeah. What like an old school one? No. Or? I, no. I think a current player. I think a current player will come on No Rules this series. Big wheats. I think, but yeah, that would be amazing. But no, I think if it wasn't for coronavirus, we actually would have had one already. I got a nice message, yeah. I can't remember, I'm not even, T, I'm, I'm not going in my phone anymore. This, I, I do this all the time, bruv. You know when you tell your boys, oh, look at this new mommy I got, and you go on your phone, and you realize you've got a thousand pics, and now you look like a fool. You're just like, shh, 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 shh. So I'm not doing all this file check anymore. But I got a message from a guy from Trinidad. A very nice paragraph message talking about how he's watched No Rules over and over again, how he loves it, and he wants me to do a new episode just for him. Mm. So the guy from Trinidad, you've got nothing to do. I'm going to a Trinidadian wedding on uh, early, uh, late August. What? Yeah. You? Yeah. That tall? Not in Trinidad though, in oh. sorry. Well, it's gonna, it's gonna be a lot of soaker though. Just make sure you've got a lot of water, man. Right. Oh, they come on, oh, they're training, dad. What? <laughs> fast tempo. <laughs> Everything's fast, man. Big up Trini. Uh, Bait Barber's from Trinidad. Trin 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 He's got a van. Yeah, the van don't move, though. No engine. <laughs> How can you have a van with no engine? It's not a van. It's not a van. It's not a van. I said, I, I said, that's a tent. That's a it's metal a, tent. Yeah, it's, it's a tent. It's a gazebo. Yeah, it's a gazebo. <laughs> it's a gazebo. <laughs> 
The Ibaba's van doesn't move. Good on him, though. I was thinking about living with him for a bit. Yeah, I remember. Just yeah. to get free chin, but then I remembered that his breath smells like a dead person. <laughs> he, you know what? Bad, bad breath here is normal. But when you can smell it two days after you've left that person, but his breath just stays on my clothes. Just stays with me like, but what's this? <laughs> Lynx have sent me a spray like, and you just see the bad breath hold Lynx in the air like, <laughs> you, you ain't coming around here. Whoosh. <laughs> so look at me. No, just, uh, the, 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 that's just how it is, man. It's just bad breath is, people look after your breath, man. Especially when you're in Shoreditch and you're doing all this mummy stuff. Look after your breath. Yeah, keep chewing gum on deck. You've got Mentos. I always have Mentos or something. fresh maker. Always, man. Mm. There's a lot of sugar in those. I'm diabetic. I think I've got, I think I've got diabetes, man. Who cares? <laughs> I hope you haven't got diabetes. I've got it, man. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean you've got it, man? I'm got, I keep going to the toilet. <laughs> My stepdad's diabetic. All he does is toilet. If, if, I'm, if I'm doing this shit in the toilet, he's just there waiting right outside. <laughs> I'm like, you, know, you, need to st- you need to step back because I've got a bad breath here too. <laughs> you don't want to get attacked. But he's diabetic and just fighting him. I was like, you know what? <laughs> bad breath versus diabetic in the toilet, boy. <laughs> Fuck off. There was a whole period, I mm. remember, um, about March, April, where mm-hmm. you, were, you were thinking about moving in with a different person every week. Where, where did that end up? Yeah, so I was going to move in with Dazza. And then I went to Dazza's house. And I just started seeing socks. I, like, I saw one, like, one pair of, not, not like one pair of sock on the stairs. And that pissed me off, like, you're unorganized. Then his like, his dirty clothes in a basket was upside down. So I could see, I could see his white towel. And there was a lot of graffiti that was brown. So I was like, oh, I can't live with you, does Then I thought about living with issues. My issues is to wake up six o'clock in the morning. I'm in Mauritius, let's do business. And issues is the kind of guy that was, you know, say, you know, he would speak seven accents in the morning to pretend that he's there in these places, calling people. So I forget that. Then I asked you. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> that was a quick no. <laughs> I don't know why you're saying no because I'm, I'm a clean, I'm a clean no, guy. No, because man. I can't imagine the people you would bring back at three a.m. And just the nonsense that would go on. I couldn't imagine it. I then I thought about living with Jordy. What stopped that? Jordy goes out with too much equipment. Like if, if you're someone that goes out with soap, a spray, cream, your toothbrush, all of this stuff in a bag, that means that, you know, you you've got problems with your own smell. Oh, you reckon? Because I don't, I don't, you don't see me. Look, I come in here, t-shirt, mint o, keys, phone. Because already I use a shore, the shore staying here. The water, the cream is already here. You're not going to smell nothing different. You know what I mean? I don't need to know I, I do add-ons and whatever. Remember how many times do me, you and Point and Jordy, we're going box we're going here, we're going there. These boys have to stop at a chemist. The yep. chemist is closed, they got to break him through the back yep. to get extra stuff because they've noticed that there's a smell on them. I've never smoked myself before. That did happen. We, we, See? We, it, it did happen. It did? Yeah. These guys broke into a chemist to spray themselves. I said, See, these guys ain't buffed. They'll go and buy wet wipes. I'll see, I'll see Poet walk with me. Poet did this with the wet. What are you doing? I didn't wash the side of my body when I got in the bath. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, are you buffing in the sink or what? <laughs> yeah, so for me, yeah, man. It's, it's gonna be, it's, I'm gonna have to live by myself, but I'm scared. I'm what? scared. Oh, why, 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 why? I'm scared because I've laughed at so many people on the stairs. Yeah. That I feel like the day that comes to be staying by myself, <laughs> the ghosts of Nazareth are gonna come for me. T, I'm scared of ghosts. I'm scared of these things. I swear to That's you, T. There's no reason to not live by yourself, to be scared of ghosts. <laughs> I'm a kind of guy that I will, I will shut the door behind me and think that the ghost slammed it and leg it. Then realize, oh, that was me that slammed the door. Seriously, Tigo, I'm scared of ghosts. 
and you think living with Daz is going you? help you. Oh, that would be f- if I'm with you, T. And a ghost comes in, yeah. are you crazy? I'm, 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 T, get your phone out, but yeah. not not when I'm by myself. That's no, that's, that's scary, man. Remember, yeah. I've watched all these films. T. So you, Six you've got a sense of karma, years. then. Huh? You got a sense of karma. You've made so many stairs jokes that the ghosts are going to come back and get revenge. T, so, t- let me be with you. Too. I'll be with you too. Some of my, my, my friends have lost a lot of people in their families. Yeah, uh, yeah. This last, you yeah. know, it's been these hard times. Yeah. I'm just giving them the 30, 30 second silence, by the way, people, just, if, excuse me. But I, f- I just find it funny because they're you're crying at specs, I'm not gonna see this person again. Says who? <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna hit the stairs soon, they just got an early ticket. <laughs> well, that's kind of true. It's true, isn't it, T? Yeah. That's the way I look at it. If you believe in the afterlife. You know what I mean? Yeah. Touch wood, if someone around me that happens, it might have like, you know what? Um, we'll meet again. Just make sure the table's ready for me when we go upstairs. Mm. You know what I mean? Make but sure it's not too expensive. Otherwise, miles ain't coming. Make sure it's not, sure it's not too expensive or... But for me, that's how I look at it. Maybe it's because I've... I don't know. Maybe I've, I've lost people in the past. I used to cry and I realised, what am I crying for? But... Yeah, man. I'm, so why I'm, are you scared of ghosts? See, I've taken the piss out of a lot of ghosts, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've taken the piss out of a lot of ghosts, man. Yeah. I think my first ghost... Piss taker was Jill Dando. <laughs> then, on camera, probably, yeah. yeah. MP Diana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, Test and that, Owen Hart and that, that, I thought that was a bit strange. The way that I felt. think wrestlers wouldn't mind. I can't speak to Jill no, Dando but, or Princess yeah, Diana. Still, like, waking up at four in the morning, Owen Hart just walks across my corridor. <laughs> That's not a joke. <laughs> oh, leg it. <laughs> you wouldn't wait to see what's going on. What? what? After what he tried to do? <laughs> that was the last one thing I heard from him. Nah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm scared. I'm, I'm, I believe in ghosts. I'm scared, man. See, I'm scared. I'll be, I, I laughed at Ab- Abra and PK's, you know, when they murdered their dogs, allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, you know. That dog might come back, yeah. I'm scared to you, man. Well, let's get to remember wrestling. Now, remember wrestling um, for the new series. I don't know if there's a new approach to it, but what I wanted to talk to you about was something that um, Felix has been working on, and something I think maybe we should do with our guests. Uh, yeah, that's not me. That's you, by the way. But there's no. I'm not smelling of anything. Relax. Wrestling, because wrestling. That's the thing. Wrestling is wide, isn't it? Yeah, but there's something Felix has been working on. You know, he he got you with Bing Bang Billy. <laughs> He invented a wrestler called Bing Bang Billy. That's class. That's class. And he actually, the other day, Miles was in the office searching on the WWE Network and he was trying to find Bing Bang Billy. <laughs> now, wait, what, Felix has also invented a tag team partner for him called The Wrangler. The Wrangler? The Wrangler. Why The Wrangler? Have you got Wrangler jeans or something? <laughs> he wears Wrangler jeans, but he's like a cowboy. He's tall, he's got a moustache, sunglasses, and a cowboy hat. Uh, as, as, does his moustache do the circle? Oh, it has the, to. It has yeah, to do the circle to. on the sides. Yeah. But he's Bing Bang Billy's brother. But he doesn't want to be a wrestler. But Bing Bang Billy tricks him into coming into the wrestling. And then whenever they're wrestling <laughs> together, the Wrangler's like not on it. But then what happened is Bing Bang Billy will push someone into him and he's like, oh, I'm going to beat him up just because he oh, that's knocked close. into me. But anyway, Bing Bang Billy and the Wrangler, right? Good tag team. There's animals involved. The Bing Bang Billy obviously comes to the ring with pigs and that. I think for the rest of the series, we should ask every guest about Bing Bang Billy and the Wrangler. See how far we can go with this. I mean, lying for me is one of the best things you can ever do in this in this life. <laughs> Creating stories and making people believe. Like T, honestly, I'm down. I was even gonna say to you, T, go. I'll, I want to fake my death, man. <laughs> we talked about this earlier. Yeah, I don't think that's a good shout. No, but I might just imagine like in the church. The coffin is there, the whole world is there, like, oh my God, specs on the stairs. And I just get up. You pricks. Psych. Imagine. Technically, yeah, you did fake your death. Do you remember you put out that little compilation video on Twitter of all you. <laughs> no, but I want to go in. Uh, yeah. I want to get a priest, to church. Yeah. I want to get, like, the, uh, the graveyards. Yeah. 
What will you die of? That's see that that is what sells. Yeah. No, it can't. It can't be. Yeah, you know. He ate like a fucking. You know what I mean? Yeah. It has to be proper. Not uh, not even knocked over or something. Something like diabetes. Mm, uh, that's not really contagious. <laughs> Covid. Covid is very believable. Yeah. Covid is serious. That's believable. But something to do with the Sudanese embassy. All oh, right. Why? Because <laughs> <laughs> obviously, as you said in there, it's their own rules, so they could just do something to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, like, they can't. But yeah. Oh, okay. International law applies. They can't just kill you. What, what about what about one of my favorite stories of humanity? I don't Just know what throwing that is. yourself over somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> T, could I do the leg swing thing? Spec calls it a day. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. Spec calls it a day. The two hundred fifty pound T <laughs> on the bed. That's for you. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it for? It's for you too. I don't need to. Give it to my boy, Lovejoy. (laughs) (laughs) See, this is what I'm saying. I'm thinking outside the box. And this is what wrestling's about, right? Yeah, 100%. Someone, what's his name, the writer that was watching the other day? Was it me and you watching it? I was watching the um, the guy that was writing all the uh, WWF stories. He's got a podcast. Okay. I don't know know his name, but he was talking about all the stories he's wrote, The Undertaker King, all this stuff. Right. And man, I'm thinking, rah, like you sat there and made up all these stories and I believed it. Because I really thought Undertaker King were brothers, you know? No, T, I really thought that. I understand. Yeah, but T, you went to a private school. That's, they, they really, <laughs> your, your teachers were telling you wrestling was fake from day one. <laughs> <laughs> In the public teachers. schools, the teachers didn't say nothing. So... Bing Bang Billy, Wrangler, faking my death. I think we can go through, I, I think we can go in with this. Faking your death. I think that's something we'll have to build up to. Rest of the f- Didn't Stone Cold fake his death? Did Did fake his death, no. The Rock punched Stone Cold off a bridge. <laughs> then there was a funeral the next day on Raw. How many funerals have you seen on Raw, T? A few. I'm sure there is a rest of this faked his death, though. I'm sure there is. Did Tupac fake his death? No, unfortunately not. Ma- Machiavelli, I'm still alive. Backwards, no? It's okay, that was cons- conspiracies. No, I'm sure a wrestler has faked his own death. Oi, crowd, you cannot tell the guests that we're about to do this, by the way. No, these, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, these yeah. are sawatas. Yeah, they you are, can't yeah. tell them we're about to do this. We, we're going to sell this story to them. But we're Bing gonna... Bang Billy and the Wrangler. Yeah. What do you remember about wrestling? Yeah. Do you remember Bing Bang Billy, his tag team partner, the Wrangler? Yeah. You know, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. They could even end up being together. Yeah. Yeah. Got this. Yeah. Yeah. And cool. we just got to play it out as long as we can. And then you guys are going to get it because you guys watched this episode. Not everyone will watch this episode because the ones with just me and you, they don't get as many views. Only the real no rules people are going to watch this. So this is a joke for 30,000, 40,000 people. So enjoy it, guys. Don't ruin it. If anyone wants to draw Bing Bang Billy mm-hmm. and the Wrangler or do some Photoshop and Bing Bang Billy That's and Gunazi. the Wrangler. That's Gunazi. I trust yeah. Gunazi. Yeah. That's, leave, it, leave that to Gunazi. Draw Bing Bang Billy and the Wrangler. But Bing Bang Billy has to be a well <laughs> and the Wrangler has got to be tall. tall that, makes skinny, it, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that makes it look like real brothers. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? Go on. That's how the brothers looked back in the day. Which brothers? There was always a brother that was a well, and then there was one that was long. Like who? Like who? Look at all your T, my friends. Oh. Pa- <laughs> Matt Manners, oh, I shouldn't even say, there's no rules. Pat Manners and his brother. Okay. One was going that way, and the other one was going that way. Hold on, is my kids gonna be like that? It's like Ed, Ed and Eddie. Oh my God, Ed, Ed and Eddie. Mama had a chicken, mama had a cow. <laughs> Dad was proud, he didn't care how. <laughs> <laughs> that was song is that? That was cow and chicken. Yeah. What was it, Eddie's song? What's the song? Ed, Ed, Eddie. Yeah, yeah. that was in it. Yeah. Can't beat cartoons back in the day, man. No, it was quality. It was quality. Anyway, you know what it's time for? It's time for 
Sunday news. <laughs> no rules news. Is the, is the masturbation the first story, Tico? The masturbation is the first story, right, Before yes. we talk about this masturbation, people, everyone who's watching now, I know you've been here. If you're a shoulder shaker, you thought about, you know what, if I shoulder shake too much, I might die. Everyone has done that, because I have. I thought I'll give myself heart counterattack <laughs> if I do this too much. T, let me hear the story. This comes from the Daily Mail. Boy, that means this is a fact. <laughs> <laughs> That's one interpretation. <laughs> Single Japanese man, 51, almost masturbates himself to death 51? after- 51? Flipping hell, man. After suffering a stroke moments after he ejaculated. Right-handed man in Germany had a life-threatening stroke while masturbating. Subarachnoid hemorrhage usually happens during physical effort. An expert told Mail Online sexual activity accounts for up to 14% of strokes. A single Japanese man almost died from masturbating, according to medical case report. Doctors claimed the 51-year-old, who they didn't identify, enjoyed pleasuring himself several times a day. But his habit nearly killed him on one occasion last year after a stroke just moments after ejaculating. Well, first of all, anyone that kills themselves by shoulder shaking, that's the worst way to go and hit the stairs. That's probably, you can't walk into heaven and tell people up there how you've got in here. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? How, how, how you, you know when you go to jail, they ask you why you're here? Upstairs. No, I don't know that. See, come on, Eddie Guerrero. Hey, welcome. How did you get here? I shoulder shaking, I had a stroke. It's embarrassing, man. It's not, but once you're up there, you're up there. I know, but you, come on, T. I when think you more so worry about the people on the ground. How did your dad die? Uh. Oh, and that's even, oh my God. Mm. How did your dad die? Uh, you, can't, no, no, you can't even say it. You have to lie, yeah. You, Remix. Yeah, the plane, the plane went down. <laughs> <laughs> and, but in your world, it's his kind of plane that went down. Do you know what I mean? That's the only way you can do that. But, um... It's, it has happened to me. I haven't had a stroke. Right. <laughs> I hope not, yeah. But my heart basically grabbed me by my neck and was like, listen, this is your eighth one today. So, T, <laughs> <laughs> my, my heart started acting weird. Eighth one. Eighth one, yeah. We've talked about this though. You've, you've got high numbers. But, uh, but I was young. I was young. Yeah. I was young. Um, 1.4 million, does it count? Yeah, 1.4 million is separate. Right. But when it's, when it's your hand, yeah. it's your hand. You, you know, in, in, your, in, in your head, it's, it's somebody, but really and truly, it's your hand. That's, yeah. We've got to remember that. Yeah, you're doing it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember that. So the second is doing it to yourself. <laughs> so that is sad. Listen, there's no but, one's um, massaging, you're not. When you, when you do too much in one day, things start to happen in your body. I can imagine they would, yeah. Like even your little toes starts to react as well. <laughs> T, like, it's not a joke. How do you find time in the day? As long as the door's locked, as long as you've got a lock on the door, you can do, you know what I mean? Anytime you turn that lock, there you go again. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's just chink and then boton, boton. That's it. It happens. People, but listen, I've, I've met people that have told me they've done it 15, 20 times That's a day. That's insane. That's Joe Walker levels. But then T, you know what I think? I think is if you're watching Laid Bear, yeah. Euro Trash, yeah. Pornhub, Tube, all this stuff, yeah. your brain now, just that's all it wants to see and wants to know. Right. <laughs> I'll take you word for it. Imagination expands. And then you have a stroke. Okay, yeah, see, that's, that's, that's the problem. The heart's like, okay, cool. Don't fight, don't fight your own body to show the shake. That's yeah. my theory. Yeah, like if you're sick, give it a rest. Yeah, like if you're, you know, if your pipe is tucked in a corner and it's laying on your, on, on, on your thigh, like this. Don't, don't go, yeah, don't go and throw a bucket of water on it. <laughs> Just to have that knife shoulder shake. <laughs> Let him sleep, man. 
Especially for those circumcised and the, and, and, and the pillows, <laughs> the pillows not out. It's like this. Don't go and touch it with ice and play ice size baby and start going again. But that's the thing. People go. People force it. Don't force a shoulder shake. Yeah. It's rubbish because when you do it, it's like, oh, well, you, you know, after you, after you know, with the white liquid goes in the tissue, you freaking off. <laughs> I feel like shit again. <laughs> Post nut clarity, ninth time of the day. You know what happened to me one time, yeah? No. Years ago. I shoulder shaked. I was in I was at home shoulder shaking. And okay, so let me go to the missus ass. So I go to the missus ass. But now, for some reason she just came in, she's drinking wine, and her hormones are yeah, that go But now I can't perform. Because You're at home. Of electrolytes. So now we've got an issue. Because now she thinks I've grand a a woman. Yeah. And but I can't explain to her that no. <laughs> I've been sort of shaking the whole day. Because <laughs> I told her I don't do that stuff. <laughs> 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 So I just said to her, I just I, I told her the pony I said, listen, I had a toothache and I went and took a diabetes um, tablet for my stepdad by accident. But he accidentally put a diabetes tablet in the paracetamol box. So I've taken it out, took two, and it shut down my own body for 23 hours. This sounds like a recent story, by the way. <laughs> it damn was a recent story, <laughs> by the way. I took the wrong tablets and then he had a stroke to go. <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, Living with stepdad is a howler. If you've got a stepdad, but you got to check everything that you're doing. You should probably just check everything you're doing generally. But yeah, I hear you. This next story comes from abc.net.au. <laughs> know what that means? No. Nope. Australia. Oh, big Australia. Brisbane man who filmed himself performing backyard castrations. Okay, T. Again, you went private school. Castrations. We talked about castrations on what this show. What the hell show. does that mean? No, I, t- t- I want pop. This is the thing about English language. Don't give me all these big Shakespeare's on stairs. He was on the stairs way before these new guys on the stairs. I don't want to use his words. I want to use my English. What is it? I think castration is the only word that actually applies here, but it's cutting off the tube that produces semen. Huh? Yeah. Cut off what tube? In- for yourself? Brisbane man who filmed himself performing backyard castrations cut gets him. suspended sentence. So cut this, the tube out of himself? No. Out of an animal? No. Let's go. A Brisbane man with no formal med- medical qualifications who filmed himself performing backyard consensual, you know that word, you'd better, castration surgeries on two men has been handed a suspended sentence and will be released from jail on probation. He's got no med. He's got no. So he's not a doctor. Has no medical qualifications, but he's gone inside cutting people's pipes. Oh my! I thought I was bad, and he didn't even go to prison. Because I remember when I, I had a bike and I turned my bike upside down, took the gears off, took the wheels off. I didn't know how to put it back, <laughs> and I have no qualifications to do with bike, <laughs> b- b- bike goals. You know what I mean? I took it all off. I couldn't put it back on, and people are doing it with the human body. Yes. The man admitted to carrying out genital removal procedures. The court heard the men had sought King out and consented, so they went to him and were like, do this for us, please. King said he didn't think he would be charged if it was consensual. Oh my gosh. It's not even about, no, it's not even about consensual. It's about, you're gonna go in someone's body and you don't even know what, what's going on. Well, it, it uh, obviously came to attention of police after the second man suffered complications and needed hospital treatment. So he <laughs> clearly didn't know what was going on. Oh my God, he could have killed them both. Yeah, yeah. But this, is, this, this level of castration involved t- removing the genitals. T, I'll be with you. Like, I'm, uh, me and you can go swimming right now. I love you. You drown. Those specs grab him, blow in his mouth. Give him air lungs. No, no, no. T, 
to you who have to hit the stairs. <laughs> I hear that. My lips are not touching Tigo's lips for that. I hear that. I hear that. Specs, you saved his life. No, I'd save his life. <laughs> <laughs> and people, that. do you know what I mean? No, I hear it. Even when that We don't know how we'd react in that moment, but in theory, yeah. No, no, T. T, I, trust me, I'm first aid trained. This is a 10 year PE teacher. So in the, on the courses, we used to have a, a body lay on the floor and they used to show us how to do certain things. Tigo, I'm looking at this plastic body and uh, one of the teachers near me have gone and done the mouth to mouth. Yeah. Boom, boom, pressed on the chest. Staying alive. They passed. Staying Specs. alive. You just put your mouth on that mouth. <laughs> what, I'm gonna go and on this plastic thing? No, no, let, let, this, let this plastic thing go upstairs. Let it <laughs> you can't pass like that, Specs. I, well, I don't want to pass. If I have to give up my job, I'll give up my job. But T, there's no way I'm, my mouth is going in the plastic or real life thing and you got people putting their hands in people's bodies. No way, I'll never do it. The court heard police then searched King's home and discovered the genitalia of an older man inside his freezer. Excuse me? So he's got more, he's, he's, he's got more people back at home that he's killed without all his medication. killed? In the freezer. The genitalia's in the, the freezer. Balls. The balls. The whole, the whole situation as far as I can tell. The, so the, the, the pipe with the two is. I'd imagine that's what it was. Yeah, there's no picture here, thankfully. <laughs> what, 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 like, what, like, this is my figure, like, what, pipes in freezers, what, tell me what is that about? What, like, what, are you trying to make it go up? Um, no, I, I don't know. I think he just was a memento. Something to remember the day by. This is why I don't like freezers, man. I, t I always told the club, I don't like freezers, man. You don't like freezers? Freezer food. I don't like when, I, I, don't, like op I don't like opening the freezers. I don't like taking peas out the freezers. I don't like taking chips out the freezers. I don't like taking fish fingers out the freezers. I don't like freezers. I don't like it down there. I don't like that door down there. I don't like it. It's like, it's, it's tea, I don't like ice it, man. Huh? Ice cream? No, nah, listen, it could be a twister. I used to love twister. It, it could be a fruit pasta ice cream. <laughs> Delicious. I'm, if it's down there, I'm not, I'm not, I hate the freezer down there. I don't understand what ice. Tea, I hate it down there. I don't like it. You're, you open, you, you pull something, bare noise. It's dark. There's, no, there's light up there, but there's no light down there. I hate freezers, Tigo. And now you're telling me there's. Pipes down there, well, people put pipes in. I don't want to tea. Loons is right to get that fridge then if he ain't got a freezer. <laughs> All right, this next story comes from Ottawa Citizen. Ottawa's in Canada. It's not what it looks like, Ottawa man caught with pants down in pony stall. When you say pony stall, you're not talking about the, the animal pony, innit? The, 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 the horse. When police found the intruder at the Ottawa stables, he was in a stall with his pants down and his penis up, standing next to a miniature pony that had been tied up and lubed up with massage oil. Okay, I know what this is. I know what this is. <laughs> I know what this is. I know exactly what this is. Because I watched the program about guys beating animals and stuff like that. Ah, oh, man. Right. <laughs> get a hotel. I'm, 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 get a hotel, T. <laughs> if that's what you want to do, get a hotel. I'm sorry, it's not what it looks like, Ryan Dodd, 30, immediately told police, according to their notes, cited at the criminal trial last week for a break and enter and attempted bestiality, in which he was found guilty for both. Whether it looked like, Ottawa police and Ontario provincial police officers responding to the break and enter call on January the 5th, 2019, told him to put his pants on, so he did, only backwards, saying, this is embarrassing. Police found the smell of scented body oil overwhelming. Body oil? For the lubrication. So he broke into the shop. To the stable. And there's a pony. The pony is... A miniature pony. Miniature pony. Mm. Like, this is an animal pony, yeah? Yeah. So it's not like a, a dolly or... No, no. So why isn't the pony saying, you know, or oh, trying to show him that he ain't my type, come out the shop? Why is the pony accepted? I don't understand. I don't know much about ponies, but it says here that Dodd was cooperative with arresting officers and said that he'd been drinking and did two lines of coke a few hours before breaking into the barn and that the miniature pony, its hair coat, 
left greasy, smelled of perfume for days, and police noted her genitalia appeared shiny. So, T, what's he done? Tell me now. He's, I don't think he's managed to complete the deal, but he's planned to make love to a pony <laughs> in Canada. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> police, seized, police seized an empty bottle of body oil and rope. The See, miniature pony had been restrained with one rope around her neck and another r- around her hindquarters. BDSM. <laughs> but you said, what, why isn't the pony up resisting? That's why. But uh, an examination revealed that there was no trauma to the pony's vaginal area. So I don't think he ever managed to pull it off. Is that shit human beings going this far? Yeah. I mean, I thought I was bad. But there's obviously people that are badder than me, man. I'd never look at an animal in that way and think, yeah, let's do that. We're separate from them, T. I say this all the time. Animals are separate from us. I don't understand why we try to go and mix up with them all the time. Leave them. Let a pony go and do a thing. Actually, what makes a pony? A horse and a what? Is, is, is it a breed, a pony? No, that you're thinking yeah. of a mule. I'm thinking of a mule, isn't it? That's a horse and a donkey, right? Or is it a pony donkey? Something like that. Yeah, bro. listen. Let, let let these animals. I I would I, I would rather watch a pony and a pigeon <laughs> be rather than a human being get involved. Let those let the animals mix up first. Humans, you're last. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? An elephant and a kangaroo, you lot chop. <laughs> a whale and a flipping crocodile, you lot chop. Yeah, let the animals confuse themselves. And then humans, you can be lost. You're bo- <laughs> Even aliens are before you, if anything. You a UFO, <laughs> come down, take a crocodile up. Let him, alien, mash it up. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> all of you have sex. Like all of you, but not humans. We're different. No. Yeah, yeah. Humans can have sex with humans or aliens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Is that a deal? That's a deal. I won't bang I'm an alien as long as you guys don't bang crocodiles. <laughs> I'm with you. 100% I'm with you. We can't go past an alien. Yes. Because an alien, when you look at an alien, we can still see us. Obviously, we don't know what aliens look I like. I know what alien looks like. <laughs> if critical's not alien, then you, you need glasses. But uh, yeah, like, they're bigger than us, so it's fine. But we, they still have... The eyes are here, everything is just, they walk. Do you know what I mean? I've got, <laughs> put jeans on, put a back pocket. Like, <laughs> they haven't got a tail. <laughs> like, if you can't have a tail when we're having sex, what? So that's my theory on that, on that. that's me. So <laughs> that's my, that, that, well, yeah. So humans could only have sex with aliens yeah. if they have humanoid shapes. Yes, yeah. So if they've got tails, no sex with aliens. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. If you're on the floor and you you, you move that way, you look like a snake. <laughs> Me and you, we we don't we should even be in the same place. Do you know what I mean? I do, weirdly, weirdly. That's I why I don't like it when like I have my my window open. Obviously, it's been hot. Obviously, I have the light on because I'm playing foot manager or watching something. And this stupid moth bat comes in, and the thing about these moths, they don't make noise. They just come in in the belly and they will jam and you, so you wouldn't even know they're there. It's only when you turn the light off or something, it now go, it just comes now and just goes straight to your screen. I'm like, what the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why has this thing got a black bag on his back? <laughs> did you see the mob Steve had in his house the other day? I did, yeah. Come on, Tigo, man. They don't make no, they don't rev. Cause you know, like bees and that. They, well, I suck up like bees. When the bee comes here, we can hear it. Zzz, he's like, yeah, that motorbike. I know that motorbike. <laughs> Boom! You slam the window. Them ones, they just, they just, they don't make no noise. They come in, oh, like moths. Just keep yourself to yourself, man. And that's why humans shouldn't have sex with ponies. What? So you, if a moth comes in that guy's room, <laughs> all the lights are coming on. <laughs> now he's gonna get the cream. <laughs> <laughs> Next, you know, the all the wings on the floor. Yeah, you put your pipe in a moth, but I'm flipping off. <laughs> that thing will be upside down on the floor. <laughs> We're going to do one last story. This one's from the Metro. Mum gets note from neighbour 
saying, my kids don't want to see your ass out. Mine. What? My ass. Because I had my ass out. <laughs> when? I'm filthy. <laughs> well, yeah, that actually. My we friends probably... are not happy about it, by the way. Really? Yeah. Which ones? Uh, obviously, the issues. Issues doesn't watch it, though. Kenny, Richie, JR. Did you apologize? Apologize for what? Why are you. Why? But it's my. We've all got asses. In my area, we call it a Mooney. <laughs> Standard procedures. When England. When England were about to win the Euros, the Moonies came out. With the pipes on top of bus stops in the rain. It's true. That That's happen. our thing. I was inside, but outside. So why is, why is all of a sudden now when I do a quick little moonie, it's an issue? It's just a bump line that's dark. <laughs> that's it. With a knot. With a knot. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of knots in there. A mum had a shock when she found a handwritten note tucked under her car windscreen wiper telling her to shut your blinds when walking naked. Alex Taylor denied that she ever walked around naked with the windows visible, but said she did lock her door and turn her lights off when wearing a t-shirt over a pair of French knickers at 10.30pm the night before. She was stunned to find the anonymous note at around 8.30am yesterday in Chelmsford, Essex. The note said it would be much appreciated if you could at least, I don't know what word that is, shut your blinds when walking naked. Around your house. So you go 12 BC. Hmm. There was no clothes. Right or wrong? Wrong, but I get what you're saying. No, T, T, I've seen pictures of just, there was no cars, there was horses. No, no, we're talking 12 BC. Yep. So you wasn't there, T, though. But I've seen pictures. No, I know there were clothes in 12 BC, but it's fine. No, they just, it was, they used to just cover. I don't know what you think 12 BC is. That's that's it's 12 years. 12 years before 12 years Christ. After the big explosion before the <laughs> no, dinosaurs left. 12 years. Huh? No. Before Christ. Uh, yeah, I know BC. That. I, I know, know religion. That. I I got a E in religion. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I got E because I didn't know the story about I think Paul and Moses in the guys. I don't know what actually happened in the bush. I just know about Jim Carrey in the bush with the gorilla. That's it. I don't look. Go and look at people back in the day, Tigo. There was no clothes. No, there was clothes. Because there were people in cold lands where they needed to cover up. Right. There were people in hot now lands where they needed to cover people up. People wearing eye patches, but then it, it just covered here and they'll cover here. But people walking around like naked back in the day. AD. Remember, I didn't say AD, I said BC. Yeah. Yeah. I know you're talking like prehistoric times when people didn't use to wear clothes because they had hair on their bodies and that. Clothes have been around for a very long time. Killing animals, taking their skin off, wearing them because it's cold. Which is, which, which, which is allegedly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> which, I mean, there's people outside Canada Goose with signs till now yeah. saying it's wrong. No, it's wrong now. It's wrong now. Cole, what was your point? My point was, well, you know, if they're, if they're living in 12 AD in their mind, oh, sorry, 12 BC, then you should just close your brands and ignore. In Chelmsford. What? That's in, it was in Chelmsford? Yeah. Okay, that's, lo that's, lo that's local. <laughs> Boy. Have you seen any kid man in the street before? Cause um, I have. I, nothing springing to mind, go on. Yeah, there was a naked. <sighs> See, I was with the kids, that's the thing. I was with my kids and I saw a naked guy just walking towards me. And I was like, oh my God. But the oh my God was because, I think the kids, you got to explain to the kids what you're, what, what's going on. <sighs> but again, my thing, <laughs> if T, if you were to walk butt naked on the street, yeah. do it. No, I don't. Why not? Nah, no thanks. Clothes is learned behaviour. <laughs> it's no well no, it's again you're <laughs> well, I, no, you're deep it. It's when it's cold, you wrap up. When it's hot, you cover up. I've never seen an animal wear clothes to you. Yes, you have. They have born with clothes. I've got a gorilla in the jungle, is he wearing clothes? Yes, he's wearing clothes. A kangaroo in the street. Yes, he's wearing clothes. Wearing clothes. You, might, you might you might have an argument with like pigs and snakes. I've never seen an animal wear clothes, bro. Fur, hair, that's I, clothes. When an alien comes to UFO and takes people, do you see a UFO? You never see a flipping alien with a waistcoat. 
coming down trying to pull you in a, in a UFO. You've just decided what aliens look like. That's just, you've just absolutely, there's no movement for you. That's it. All right, these uh, extraterrestrials, T, they don't wear clothes. How, how do they you like? know that? You don't know that. So what, you, you think that, so you believe in aliens and a rock up in, in jeans. T, is that, no, T, one second. You're trying to tell me an alien rock up in jeans. That's what, is that what you think? There's as much a chance of them rocking up in jeans as there is them rocking up naked. Yeah, what are you right. talking about? Yeah, right, T. You know aliens ain't wearing no clothes. We're the only ones, we're the only species that wears clothes. Because it's learned behavior. Crabs. Crabs what? What do they wear? The shells. What shells? There's, there's that, 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 the sting thing. And there's monkeys that wear clothes. That's because human beings put clothes on monkeys. You have no idea. You got nothing about you. Show me. Just guys, sorry, this episode's running a little bit long, but that's because fi- he, this idiot has never seen a super chill monkey in Hollywood. The, chimp- by the, way. the chimpanzees and monkeys I've seen don't wear clothes. You ready? Yeah. That's not a monkey. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is Super Chill Monkey, he's got headphones on, he's dressed for work, getting on a bus. What's he listening to? Even his lips <laughs> He's got a little man bag. What's he doing? Oh, he's making a phone call. Oh, he's sending a text. Barbecue at his house. Tell you what. What? Monkeys are not animals. They're humans. Well, are they close? T, come on, yeah. They're so close. Monkeys and aliens can get it too. <laughs> monkeys can get it, yeah. No. Uh, T, look, monkeys, like, look at the way the monkeys walk in. That's allegedly. Oh how. my god, Levi's jeans. <laughs> now, T, go. You can't fold the bottom up 64 times. At least get the monkey size. Now, monkeys are sick. Oh, that's a little what, headshot. See, so monkeys have got hands, elbows, legs, a back. No that's, 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 that's a human. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Don't whisper it. I didn't even know it had a fur jacket on under that <laughs> That's t-shirt. what I'm saying. <laughs> Naked though, but he's not naked, is he? Thoughts? You know, uh, that that bottom lip was massive. <laughs> no way. Thank you. That's that's your takeaway from that. That audition he just did. Oh, t- what? He likes clothes. No human did this to him. You know what? It's a monkey. I've, 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 I remember reading about monkeys and humans being very close. That's definitely a death. Right? Definitely. The monkey and the guy look He's alike though. He's putting jeans on. Yeah, monkeys and humans when they're close. Hey bro. Was it a monkey? What? Saying I don't know. Human being. Eat a See if I ask you and if I ask you show me a snake doing that. Exactly, you've lost. <laughs> you never lost. You've lost. <laughs> you've lost a snake getting on the bus and chilling and looking at the window. So yeah, there are animals that like wearing clothes and aliens could wear clothes. Let's be clear. Super chill monkey does. Clothes is learned behaviour. Has it learned behavior? It's learned behavior too. If it's cold outside, you need to put something on your body to stop being cold. Nothing learned about that. That's science. And if it's hot? If it's very sunny, you want to cover your skin. Why? For burning and for over sweating and stuff. There's countries in Africa that are blazing hot. Do they wear clothes? 
No, no. Some of the villages I've gone to, they don't wear clothes, T. Yeah, they wear some clothes. My little clothes. cousins with their tops off. No, yeah, tops off. Yeah, that's different. Clothes is learned behavior, man. It's not learned behavior. If the whole, if the world decided that we just have to cover the private parts, no evolution. If that becomes normal, evolution took our fur and hair off us, and we replaced it with clothes. It's not learned behavior. It's the essence of existence, survival. Well, some men, some men have hair color. Scribs, scribs. Day scribs doesn't need clothes. Evolution didn't get him. Evolution didn't get him. <laughs> Evolution didn't get scribs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's there's some people like my stepdad. He's got hair here. Wow. Why does he need a t-shirt for? He doesn't. All right. So we've got we've made it. We've got we've come to some sort of agreement. Men with hairs on their chest don't need to wear clothes. Okay, that's not what the, the conversation was about. But yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it was about whether or not men with hairs on their chest were allowed to have sex with monkeys. Oh, that too. That can happen. <laughs> that's what monkeys and aliens got cool. So there's no woman that can have sex with a monkey? A woman? Yeah. Yeah, of course she can. Oh. Just as long as it's not a pony. That's right, okay. A snake, crocodile. <laughs> Or, you know, a bat. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that was uh, a special No Rule show. Settling back in. No Rule show. So just expect anything. You never know. You might have that monkey sitting. You might have the bat. We'll try and get an alien one day. Yeah. We've yeah. had one. Who? <laughs> no names. <laughs> <laughs> you lot work it out, man. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the audio feed. No rule show.